Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple FizzBuzz program in Python. I've done this in JavaScript, but obviously Python syntax is a little different, so we'll give it a shot and break it down. Basically, FizzBuzz is what it is, is a drinking game, and you count from 1 to 100, um, and Code Academy picked this up as well, doing their JavaScript tutorial, uh, going from 1 to 20, and then going from 1 to 100, and then adding to where you could have somebody input a custom number to step through. Um, so, what we're going to do is a simple one, just 1 to 100, and every time a number is evenly divisible by 3, we need to say fizz. Every time a number is evenly divisible by 5, we need to say buzz. If it's divisible by both 3 and 5 evenly, we need to say fizz buzz together. So, let's kind of take apart the problem um, uh, piece by piece and if you think about it w the first thing that really pops to my mind is it wants us to count from 1 to 100 well how do we count from 1 to 100 in a programming language of our choice so this really doesn't um, just apply to Python it really applies to all programming languages and how to think about this problem so that you don't screw it up okay so we need to think how are we gonna count from 1 to 100 well in Python I know we can do 4 x in range of 1 to 101 print x and we'll save this as a program called fizzbuzz.py okay and the reason I put the print x there which we don't need to have um, present is so that we can just see that we are indeed counting from 1 to 100 in our uh, language of choice so I'm going to hit F5 to run this in our interpreter over here, and you can see we did indeed count from 1 to 100 without any issues. Okay, so now that we've made it count from 1 to 100, let's start looking at the different conditions that we need to have um, as we're counting. So the first one that we come across is any number evenly divisible by 3, which means it would have a remainder of 0 when you divide it, needs to say fizz. Well if you've worked with programming at all before you know that we work with remainders as modulus symbols so if x is modulus 3 which equals 0 we need to print oops, fizz okay control s to save that so basically what we just did is we're saying if x is evenly divisible by 3 which means the remainder of whatever number we divide by 3 is 0 we need to print the word fizz now if we were to run this right now all we're gonna see is a few fizzes on the screen because it's only going to print um, the numbers that say that are evenly divisible by 3 and it's just gonna show up as fizz because we told it to print as fizz so you can see here we didn't step through a hundred we just stepped through all the fizzes that were in the numbers and we don't know what those numbers are because they're replaced by the word fizz okay so the next thing we need to do is an elif statement and uh, it's the else else and if you're uh, familiar with other programming languages they do it a little differently like JavaScript is if else if else if else um, Python it's if elif 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 else so it just depends but they all have a way to kind of step through um, I know you can do um, I believe statements or I'm trying to remember what the other one was switches or something like that I can't remember off the top of my head um, you can do things like that as well but we're gonna do the if elif elif else um, structure here so alright so we need to elif x modulus 5 equals 0 print buzz and again the reason we do this is because we want to know if whatever number is divisible evenly by 0 has a remainder or er, by 5 has a remainder of 0 we need to put the word buzz okay so if we run this you'll see it just says fizz buzz fizz fizz buzz fizz 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 buzz and so on and so forth and it's simply just printing all the numbers that are divisible evenly by three and by five and nothing else well we want it to print the numbers that aren't divisible by three and five because we want to be able to see what they are alright so then this is where we come down and do an else and we say print x okay save that hit f5 and run Okay, so it seems to have worked, right? We got our fizzes and our buzzes and everything like that that we were supposed to get. But, look at number uh, 15 here. It just says fizz. We know 15 is divisible by 3 and by 5 evenly, so why doesn't it say fizz buzz? Well, we need to add a little statement in here for that. Now, 
I'll show you why this doesn't work. If we try to put an elif here with x divisible by 3, which equals 0, and x uh, modulus 5, and I'm sorry I said divisible on the 3 just a minute ago, it's modulus 3, equals 0, print fizz buzz. Now the reason this will not work, and I'll show you here in just a second, and there's no fizz buzz is printed, is because these first two statements right here will always um, check out before this statement ever gets uh, to be run, because the number will either be divisible by 3 or divisible by 5 um, before it ever can check the fact that this third statement is um, are they both divisible by 3 and 5 at the same time so you'll never get the proper answer with this because this right here will never get run because these two statements will run true before this ever gets um, pointed out okay so what we need to do is to modify our program just a little bit by putting this at the top so we need to check this statement before we check the other statements so what we're going to do is we're going to delete this here and we're going to come back up here and throw in another if and we'll actually make this an elif right there uh, come down tab over and then if x modulus 3 equals 0 and oops, and x modulus 5 equals 0 then we print fizzbuzz and again the reason that we do this is because this statement would never get checked um, because these two will always check true before it ever got to this and uh, if it doesn't check true it immediately jumps to our else down here so it wouldn't work for us we need to have it up first so that we can actually see it um, or check the condition before the other two so now we come back over here and hit F5 okay and you'll see it step through 1 through 100 and we got 1 2 fizz 4 buzz 5 or fizz 7 8 uh, anyways let's look at 15 now it does say fizz buzz 30 says fizz buzz 45 says fizz buzz 60 says fizz buzz 75 says fizz buzz 90 says fizz buzz. So now you can see that we actually are creating the proper fizz buzz program um, saying fizz and buzz all the way through. And uh, again, like I said, we need to uh, put this up first so that it actually gets checked. Then we have our two elif statements and then our else statement for um, when the number is neither divisible by 3 or by 5. Okay, and as I said before, divisible um, by 3 or 5, if you ever do long division, there's always remainders, and a remainder must be 0 for it to be fully divisible by such a number, so when you divide th uh, 15 by 3, you're going to get 5 remainder 0. If you remember from elementary school, you used to have to write the remainder out um, on your math problems, and then as you got farther on, you didn't, so people kind of forget about it, but so we have to use the modulus symbol so that we can check that the remainder is indeed zero when dividing by that number so that we can um, properly put uh, fizz or buzz in the right place or fizz buzz in our case in the correct spot as well alright guys this is just a simple way to build it in Python I've seen uh, multiple different ways to do it um, just kind of looking through books and stuff there's tons of different ways you can do this program this is just kind of a procedural step through of how to do it um, breaking the problem down as I said before this applies to any language uh, just break it down the first question is you need to be able to count from 1 to 100 in the program then you need to be able to figure out okay how am I going to check that the remainder is indeed 0 when dividing by this number so that I can print out this output so you need to just kind of step through problems like this and think in that that mindset of um, you know breaking the problem into piece by piece by piece by piece and instead of looking at it as a whole and freaking out and overthinking about it just look at it 
little chunk by little chunk by little chunk and it becomes much more manageable much easier uh, it is kind of a trick question if you don't understand the fundamentals of programming especially with this part here I've seen many people screw this part up because they want to put it down here in the bottom thinking oh, okay well it comes last in the statement um, when they're asking about the game and uh, it just doesn't work for them and they get frustrated and they forget that these two statements will always check true before uh, it ever gets to the statement to run. So uh, don't get uh, caught off guard if you uh, ever apply for a job interview and get asked this question. Um, just break it down, think about it, and think about how your programming language, your syntax works with uh, making it do the small parts. And eventually, if you do all the small parts right, it will come together as a program as a whole and work for you. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too difficult to follow through. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave them below the video. I will try to answer them as quickly as possible and help you guys out. All right, have a great day, and thanks for watching.